Thank you very much for being on our YouTube channel. May I ask where are you are from? I'm from United States, Colorado. I used to live in California. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Visiting or you guys live here? First time visiting, yes. Visiting yeah. with kids. Uh, do you guys travel a lot? Not as much these days. I actually lived in China for oh. five years and Korea for a little bit. So, But with a little kid, uh, this is the first time that we've had the opportunity to come out. Oh, I see. Did you work there? Or no, I was school? in uh, high school. Oh, and, my, oh. and my parents moved there because they were doing some non-profit work. So you speak Chinese and Korean? Um, my Chinese and Korean has gotten very bad. It got worse during university because I didn't keep up on it. But because I had all of the language experience and Chinese kanji is close to Japanese kanji, I decided to start learning Japanese uh, a while ago. How did you like the China, South Korea? Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. Which part did you live in? I lived in a place called uh, Yenji, and it's at the same horizontal line as a place like uh, Hokkaido. So, so very cold. cold. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. How was the life there? It was good. So you spent the high school life? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. High school and a little bit of college in, in China. How about the, the life in Korea? Same, just uh, went back and forth between China and Korea quite frequently. So, um, yeah, and the place that I was in China was a, um, a Korean uh, minority prefecture. So it was dual language China, uh, Chinese, and Korean. So, yeah, transition back and forth was pretty easy. Very interesting. Then, here, how long ago did you come to Japan? Uh, we are here for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. So you fly into, you flew into Tokyo? Uh, yeah, Haneda. Uh, yeah. Since then, how kind of route did you take? Uh, we were in Tokyo for eight days and then came to Osaka, or staying in Osaka for a little bit while going, uh, traveling back and forth to Kyoto. So we'll be here for another four or five days and doing some trips to Kyoto while we're here. And then we will be going back to Tokyo and then flying back to the United States. Do you have some interesting experiences or Japanese like experiences during <laughs> this that you've stayed so far? Um, we, we've tried to go to um, some temples and some some castles, so Sensoji uh, Shrine and um, a couple of other places to just try to enjoy the the culture and uh, and things like that, but haven't gone out of our way to do any particular special events um, like a festival or anything. Is, is this difficult to travel with uh, kids? It's easy in a lot of ways, but it's difficult in in some ways. Uh, for instance, I think the biggest issue that we've had is that thankfully each train station will always have an elevator. Uh -huh. Uh, which is very convenient and each each car each car on a train both here in Osaka and in Tokyo have a space for a, for a baby car to go in a special place for that baby car to sit and so we don't feel like we are putting uh, we don't feel like we are inconveniencing anyone the elevator uh, for the train stations help that but usually there's only one elevator per station and it's not always the easiest to find. Um, so that's been a little bit of a, a struggle. Other than that, everybody has been very welcoming, very polite, um, and uh, have been understanding of us traveling with the, with the baby. So it's honestly, it's better than I expected. In other places that I've traveled, that politeness and that respect isn't, isn't there as much. And so it would be more of a, a situation where people would be pushing me physically or I would have to push somebody physically in order to get out of a train car. I haven't had to do any of that. So it's, it's, been, it's been better than expected, but not without, um, not without some trouble. So those kind of trouble you had in other countries. Yeah. Oh, I see. And so besides Asia, what area did you travel? 
Who? Um, yeah, so I've been to obviously China, Korea, uh, Vietnam, uh, Paris, London, Germany, wow. Mexico, Singapore. Just uh, I've been, uh, I was born overseas um, in Switzerland. Uh, despite the fact that I, I'm an American citizen and American passport holder uh, from birth. So my life started with me overseas. And so that's part of my own personal experience that I like to continue. I see. So then it, it is very natural to encounter very different cultures. Yes. In your life. Yes. Uh, if possible, anything you can bring back to your country. To, do you have something from Japan? Uh, the, um, I think the, the level of politeness, the level of respect um, that uh, people have here outwardly towards each other, that people show constant uh, bowing and, and, they, and things like that, and um, consideration for other people, being mindful of your space, um, that's something that in America... <laughs> I'd love to see come uh, come back, but America is is very. There's a lot of different types of people in America. Uh, a lot of different from a lot of different countries and a lot of different nationalities. So I'm not sure if that would be possible, but I really would like to bring that politeness and respect from Japan to uh, to the states. Do you think it's the, the politeness thing? It's is it because of like our unique cultural thing? That's why it, uh, we have that. And you don't. I do. I do think that's a lot of it. Um, I think there are there are a lot of benefits that Japan has by being um, by having such a strong culture that uh, that most of the people here um, who aren't travelers uh, really adhere to. And even a lot of the, and because of that, that gravity that the culture has here, yeah. you know, a lot of the foreigners that end up coming to live here are very, I, I feel like, and this is just my feeling, are a lot more mindful of those same rules and try to follow that culture and those, those standards as much as possible within, within their ability. Whereas America is, is very open in a lot of ways. Uh -huh. And so... A lot of people that end up moving to America uh, don't have to change all that much because uh -huh. America is a lot more a lot more open about what's acceptable and not acceptable and things like that. Mm. Which is, it's it's good and bad. It's it's different. Oh, I see. You can keep your own way. In yeah. The States, but it, maybe you need to adapt to your own yeah. way in Japan. Correct. Uh, would you like to live in Japan, or which is Japan? if the opportunity arises, I would love to live in Japan. I consider this part of the world um, my second home, um, because especially where the place that I, I lived in was, um, it was a Korean province that was uh, that was captured by Japan at some point in time, and then taken over by China. And so, I, I'm very familiar with with this area of the world. And Japan, in, in particular, I would I would love to live here if given the opportunity, uh, the correct opportunity. Um, but with a little one, it's it's hard to make those decisions right now. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Th thank you so yeah. much uh, about uh, talking about yeah. and sharing about your experiences and your ideas. Thank you. Arigato. First of all, thank you so much for being on our YouTube channel. Thank you, YouTube. Where are you guys from? We are from Italy. Italy? Yeah. Uh, which part of Italy? Near Rome. Mm -hmm. the so, in, yeah, in uh -huh. the center of Italy, south of Rome. Uh, maybe I don't know, but uh, the name of the, the city, what is the name? Of the, the capital of Italy. No, the name ah, of the, the city. Ah, the name of our Rome. city. Uh, um, Latina. 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 Oh. I know the, the, only the name because I was many people from Italy mm -hmm. yeah. and I, I don't know the, the name of the city oh, yeah. okay. so badly so that's why I, was, I tried to learn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And is this your first time in Japan? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you travel a lot? Or? Uh, not so much out of Europe. 
around uh, Italy, so in Germany, France, Spain, uh, Austria, Austria, but not so far. Far. Uh, yeah. So this is the first Asian yeah. country. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Why did you choose Japan <laughs> from? Uh, okay. <laughs> because um, since when I was young, I liked the Japanese culture. I did karate for 10 years. I read manga, I watch anime. So it was a dream. Yeah, it's a child yeah. dream for and me. And this is our honeymoon. Oh, yeah, honeymoon? we are in yeah. honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there are so many like, uh, new couples. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You guys are like the second couple today. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Good, cool. So, uh, how did you start karate then? I was nine years old and I had to choose a sport, uh, try it, I like it, and I started. Oh, so I, yeah. I become black belt uh -huh. and then uh, I started university and so I had not so much time so I, I left, yeah. But I love still the, yeah, I all the uh, karate, karate okay, the, the best. Uh -huh. uh, and you have black belt? Yeah, I have black belt. Wow. Yeah. Are you, a master? <laughs> you didn't start karate by watching like a Japanese No, cartoon no. Or... It becomes Just... later. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. When I was around uh, 13, 14 years mm -hmm. old. Yeah. Are there many like Japanese culture around you? Uh, where you're from? Now, these days, yeah. Many kids start uh, watching anime or reading manga, so they approach the Japanese culture. When for, I was young, no. Yeah, when I was young, no. But much. now it's quite normal. Mm. Yeah. Many, many kids uh, uh, learn about Japan from this uh, media. Media. Mm -hmm. And that you watch many anime? Yeah, I watch anime. No, no, <laughs> no. I, no. <laughs> no I'm, I'm not so into the Japanese culture like him. Oh. So so this time he wants to come, that's why you came with him? Yes, okay. but also because I'm very curious and uh, I wanted to visit also Japan, so it's mm. fine, but I love this country. Oh, yeah. So how many days so far in Japan? So far, three days. Yes, oh. yeah? we arrived uh, Sunday. On Sunday, yes. yeah. On Sunday. Where did you fly into? Osaka? Or? Uh, Tokyo, Tokyo, but then we moved immediately to Kyoto. Oh. So now we stay in Kyoto for five, six days. Yeah. Then we moved to Kanazawa, oh. and then we will move to Tokyo again. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Oh, so now you're staying in Kyoto. Yeah. And then for this now. is like a day trip from yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Because we did Himeji yeah. this morning. Himeji. Oh, Himeji Castle? Himeji Castle. Himeji. Himeji. Oh, yeah. oh, this morning. This yeah, morning. this morning. Yeah. Was it beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, it's the really white. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the white castle. I see. Uh, did you go up to oh, the top? Yeah, yeah, Absolutely, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So you love castle then? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because there is another a, a castle in Kanazawa, right? Ah. Yeah, I just learned this also. Because another, <laughs> another couple, couple. told, told ah, me okay. there is a like a castle town over there, and I didn't know. I was so ignorant uh -huh. by the time. So, <laughs> and I looked up in, in uh, the map, and okay. there is a very popular oh, castle oh, in Kanazawa, and which is Kanazawa Castle. Okay, we yeah. will see. Yeah, yeah. maybe Why not? we will visit uh, in uh, uh, oh, Okay, and there is uh, also a very the famous guardian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Absolutely. Oh, you, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I made the itinerary. Yeah. Yeah, the itinerary. So I saw a little thing. <laughs> yeah, I knew only that garden in Kanazawa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's That's a really Ken Rokuen, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And uh, I, I think they have a good food around that area. Oh, okay. Good. I think so. Mm -hmm. It's a, a sea seafood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, where did you go in Kyoto then? Uh, we visited um, Ushimi Inari mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and then Ninenzaka, Sanenzaka. So the, um, it's in Kiyomizudera, Ninenzaka? No, no it's, a, it's a street. Outside. Uh, the streets around, around. they are very popular. Oh, okay. I heard the uh, okay. name Ninenzaka. But I'm not exactly where it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's not so so far by 
Gundera. Mm. And then we visited uh, yeah, another temple, um, Kodaji. Kodaji? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. And then... Uh, that's all? Yeah. yeah that's all. Uh, Kiyomizu Dera is very beautiful with the, like a red reef, like yeah. an autumn yeah. season. But it was yeah. very full of very people. Yeah. Full of people, yeah. lots of crowds. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But it, it was beautiful. Yeah. 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 If you come back, then <laughs> autumn is probably a good season. Ah, too. okay. When the leaves are red? Yeah. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, if you, uh, if you the search, like a Kiyomizu, probably you see ah, the, okay, the picture. The nice okay. picture from there. Okay. And uh, uh, have you tried Japanese food so far? Yeah, we tried something. Shabu shabu. Shabu shabu. shabu, shabu. shabu, shabu. Uh, well, good try. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a pork meat. Yeah, we, yeah and very sushi. Good. Onigiri. Onigiri. Yeah. 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 And what kind of fish do you like for sushi? Uh, we like tuna. Tuna. Tuna, yeah. tuna, tuna is very, very good. And also salmon. 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 And mm. shrimp. Oh, shrimp. shrimp. Yeah, my, my favorite. Is, ah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have something you want to bring back to your uh, country from Japan, if possible? So yeah. The line, the people. Oh. Okay. Because in Italy, we... <laughs> We don't, we, don't we don't like lines. <laughs> maybe yeah, we, lines. We, we do we like, can. but other people, maybe sometimes you have to do a line uh -huh. and like people uh -huh. come all together and From it's very yeah, chaotic <laughs> and yeah. so oh, we, right. we hate that. But here, uh -huh. perfect lines, <laughs> and so we well, Japanese people are really uh, kind and uh, they respect all the rules. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you to you. Uh, thank you. And uh, the sharing your experiences and uh, yeah, thoughts. It was uh, nice talking to you guys. It's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure.